Good, <clears throat> good morning, everyone. Welcome to a sinus-filled episode here on High Octane Cards. Today is going to be a um, mail day and a flea market fine day all combined into one for your viewing pleasure. So let's go ahead <clears throat> with the flea market fine portion of the video. A week or so ago, we went down to uh, Indianapolis Speedrome, and it was the last race of the season, so the vendor down there that sells a lot of die cast and some of the t-shirts of the local racers and so forth he had uh still had some of his nice nascar die cast out and had it for sale had a pretty good sale so i bought six of these winter circle dale earnhardt uh lifetime series cars <clears throat> excuse me so the first one we'll start with we may go in chronological order because of the way i got these laid out 1979 the hodgden mike curb osmobile this is the car that was owned by uh, real estate magnet uh, Rod Osterlin, car number two. Very nice looking car there. Give you guys a front and a back and a side and, and an overhead view. Always thought that was a sharp looking car. <clears throat> then we have the 1980 version of the car, which came along with a little Wrangler sponsorship later in the season. There you see it as a Chevrolet. I do really like the way that that paint job looks with the Wrangler lettering on that. Then the next one we have is the 1982 Ford Thunderbird, <clears throat> also referred to as the Boxy Bird. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can see that the uh, Wrangler lettering and livery was a lot more uh, modern in terms of the way that they handled it on the cars. Of course, back in this day, the cars were still hand-painted. I mean, the, the bodies were painted in the, the paint shop, but the uh, the lettering was done by hand. Then as you got into the late 80s, early 90s, you started having more decals. And then, of course, today all the cars, for the most part, are wrapped, which is, seems to be the way that even small race teams go. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is from 1986. I know the car is from, not 1986, but it's a Nova that Dale Earnhardt ran in the Bush series back in the day. I do have this car, but anytime I see it, I like to pick it up. <clears throat> What's that say above Goodwrench? Uh, hummingbird, it looks like. But yeah, I guess I'd never noticed that before. And you have Wrangler there on the trunk lid. So this was really one of the first black and silver cars that Dale did run in his career. From 1987, we have the iconic Wrangler Monte Carlo. This was the last full season Wrangler would sponsor Dale. They did come back to sponsor him in a one-off in the All-Star race one year. I believe in the season finale in 1992 in Atlanta, they sponsored Bobby Hillen. Uh, I think they sponsored Dale Jr. in a couple of Xfinity, Xfinity Series races here and there. But they've never jumped in uh, really full-time. But I like that picture. I believe that's at North Wilkesboro in 1987. <clears throat> but this is just always a super sleek looking car. That's uh, what most people seen in the rearview mirror. And that's what they would see uh, most of the season. 1987, Dale, of course, won 11 of the 29 races plus the All-Star race. So he had a pretty, pretty strong season in 1987. The final part of our flea market's find is this nice 1988 Monte Carlo. Of course, you see uh, the silver lettering on the car, or the silver numerals on the car. About midway through the season, they would switch to white lettering. It would show up better on TV. Dale only had three wins in 1988, finished third in the point series uh, behind Bill Elliott, the champion, and Rusty Wallace, who was second in points, only 24 behind Bill that season. But 1988 was a pretty good season overall. <clears throat> Excuse me. As we move on to the uh, mail day portion of the show... This first pickup, <clears throat> excuse me, I told you this was sign of Saturday. Um, this first one was from an eBay pickup. This is a 1999 Upper Deck. It's Tony Stewart Signature Collection. Really nice signature there of Tony in the early, early part of his NASCAR career. There you see of, uh, the Certificate of Authenticity there on the back from eBay, or not eBay, Upper Deck. But um, I'd seen this, and it was a good price. So went ahead and watched it, and been watching it for about a week and a half, two weeks. So the seller sent me an offer. It's like oh, I can't turn that one down. I'll go ahead and <clears throat> go ahead and bring that one home with me. The next two are from I'm probably going to say his name wrong, Jeremy Dambra. Diambra. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, but I thank you. This was on Facebook. 
uh, NASC, there's a, a group called Nuts, N-U-T-S. It's uh, each letter is spaced out by a period. It's like a NASCAR trading card group. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, he posted some uh, relics and autographs. There's a couple on there that I thought were interesting that I liked, that I know a couple people that watch the videos will also like. So this was a Justin Algeyer 2019 Panini Prime, numbered, is that 8? Yeah, 8 out of 99. Nice patch there. So I believe it is, is it 2019? 2018, I apologize. 2018 Panini Prime. Clear silhouettes. Justin Algeyer. Cleveland, I know you might have some interest in that one. <clears throat> and then Danny, you're going to like this one. 2019 Panini Prime. Gray Galding Race Use Tires. There you see it is a bookend. 25 out of 25. Very nice looking card there. Gray Galding. And of course, Gray is one of the drivers that is the sponsored by the Panini brand. So it's always interesting to see their Facebook and Twitter and all their feeds light up throughout the week when they talk about different products and different uh, different marketing tools and strategies and so on and so forth. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's not uh, that long, but just wanted to throw something up here for you guys that I knew you would enjoy. A little bit different. We do have a few cards. We do have some die cast. Not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. We're still at 236 subs. We're working our way to that 500. Of course, you know when we get to 500, we're going to do another giveaway. We a relic card giveaway when we get to 500. So hopefully you guys will hang around for that. I'd really like to see one of you guys win one of the relics. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyway, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Come back and see us tomorrow. Thanks for watching and have a great day.